Hey college and career success, welcome to spring 2024. This is your welcome video. I am Dr. Linda Remark. I always like to start off my semester with a kind of just an overview of the course to help you with navigation purposes and just starting to get you familiarized with our particular course. So first thing, as you can see at the top here, our spring semester does not start until Tuesday, January 16th because of the Monday holiday. So that is when you will actually be able to get in and access this class. Now I did send this video out in a link so you might be able to watch this video before the class actually opens which is what I would recommend to do. You know, so you're making sure that you're ready to go um, but you will not actually be able to work until that Tuesday the 16th. Something else I want to make sure that you're aware of depending on from you know, where you clicked the link. Um, if you have not already completed the Succeeding Online Orientation course, you will need to do that. Now you'll know if you have not done so because when you go to click into our course, you will not even be able to get this far. It'll pop up and say, hey, you need to take your orientation. And so please make sure you do that. That is just to make sure that you are familiar with Blackboard in general for any online class you're taking. This video is specifically for just our course. All right, so that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through some navigational pieces to make sure that you're comfortable with the course before you jump in to the actual class. So the first thing when you get logged in after you take your orientation, is it's always going to open up to the announcement page and you can see the announcements are already scheduled to go and this is where I will tell you what's going on throughout the week and you can see that I post a few times throughout the week. Anything that I post as an announcement I also post as a course message. So you will be getting those course messages the day that the announcements post so that you are getting them multiple different ways. This is also a way that you can contact me. So while I'm in here, I'll just show you how real quickly. You'll just go to create message. You can see, click on the two, everyone who's enrolled in this class. Uh, there are a couple sections merged together, so that's why it looks like maybe there's two classes. You'll click on my name, click over, and then put your subject, put your body, and hit submit. That is one way to contact me. I will show you some other ways. So I just, while we were in there, thought we would go ahead and go over that. The start here section is where you're going to spend more time, I would say the first few weeks. You're probably gonna use this section less and less as the semester goes, um, but you'll go ahead and you'll scroll down. This is where the video you're watching will be. Um, it will eventually say spring 2024, but this is where the welcome video is. It'll be there all semester just in case. Here is just a general instructor welcome so that you know a little bit more about me. You know, I am teaching multiple classes here on campus, both face-to-face -face and online. You know, I have three children. There's my educational background. And so just kind of reaching out and so that you know a little bit about me. Underneath that, you can see is our spring syllabus. So when you click on this, it will open up into a PDF right here. And I'm going to walk you through this. I always recommend to my students, if you want to print the syllabus or at the very least, print the calendar out um, so that you just have access to that at any time. But obviously you always have access to it electronically. I just, I'm a paper person, so I like to have paper with those dates on it. So I always like to recommend that. All right, so running through this, you know, we are in a three credit hour course. Here's the course description, hopefully that you've seen before. This class meets all of the six general learning outcomes the college has set forth, and it has multiple course objectives. So these are the things that we're gonna be talking about throughout the next 16 weeks. Things like critical thinking, um, test taking, note taking, uh, managing time. So lots of different things that we will cover throughout the different chapters. Here's some information on Stark State policies and where to find them. Disability services, if you have like a 504 or an IEP or any kind of academic need, this is the office that you would go to. They are great, very helpful, so that's that contact information there. Here is some computer usage and then student success resources. We have a lot of resources here at the college. In fact, I like to just show students here at the homepage under info for current students. Here is the maybe there we go um here is the full list of interactives you can click and get some more information so let's say you wanted to know more about our digital library maybe you need to know about the career office here where to buy your textbooks all of that is located right here for your support we have a food pantry here we have tutoring so lots of stuff so i always recommend click around, get to know this. It's on the home page under info for current students. And some of these resources will be highlighted throughout the semester as part of our class anyway, but this is a nice comprehensive list. 
All right, and then here is a little bit more specific to the class that you are particularly in. So this is, again, a three credit hour course. It is web three, meaning that we do not meet any day on campus. We do not meet through Zoom. We do not anything like that. It's work on your own within the confines of each week. So there are still due dates, but you can kind of get on any time of the day to work on information in this course. So again, my name is Dr. Remark. I am in my office Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, physically in E244 during these hours. I if I'm not, you know, in between or in breaks, I'm in, in the classroom teaching. And then I'm virtual on Thursdays from 9 to 12. And that means that I'm either working from home or I could be on campus. It just kind of gives me, you know, whatever I need to do for that purpose. Now, even though I don't list it, I do a lot of my work in the evening. And so if you need like a Zoom or an email conversation, I often will be on my computer in the evenings as well. So I'm, I'm pretty, I try to make myself as available as possible, especially the first couple of weeks because I know a lot of questions arise. But there's my office extension and there's my email address. And usually unless I'm in class, I try to respond very quickly. Uh, we do have a textbook for this course, but the good news is it's online and it's free and we can access it right away and I will show you how to do that. Here is a, a breakdown of all of the different ways that you are graded. So we do have weekly assignments based on text chapters. So you'll see almost every week we're in a new textbook chapter. There are some weeks that we're, we're doing other things, but there are uh, discussion posts, there are quizzes, uh, there are assignments that are due inside every individual chapter. All work is submitted either Blackboard or email attachment. I prefer Blackboard just because we're right in here working and, and grading right in there. Although if you need to send it to me outside via email attachment, that's okay. Each chapter as well as the introductory week will have a discussion prompt in which you have to respond. So keep in mind that every week, with the exception I think of like two or three weeks, and I'll show you that, there is a prompt you have to respond to by Wednesday that includes week one and week one opens on a Tuesday. So we want to make sure you're online very quickly. Uh, you need to post by Wednesday evening for your weekly attendance check in. And then you responded to classmates by Sunday. So let's say that you post by Wednesday, you're good, you get your attendance points. Let's say one week you forget and you all of a sudden Friday, you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't post. I'm going to go ahead. Still post. You can still get partial attendance for posting late. And then you can still get full points for just completing the, the prompt itself. So you're kind of getting graded twice on these discussion forums. You're getting graded on attendance and then you're getting graded for did you actually respond to the prompt itself. So attendance posts are due Wednesday nights and then you respond to two classmates, which mimics, you know, the interaction in a physical classroom by Sunday. One chapter will be covered approximately each week. You will have quizzes from each chapter and they're short answer questions. You're going to respond in two to five complete sentences and you're going to kind of do a mixture of like personal experience and textbook uh, support. You will have a career services assignment and then here is more of like a breakdown of all the points. This is a typical A, B, C, D, F class. Um, attendance, you need to make sure that you're you know, posting your response. As I said, you need to post on Wednesdays uh, for that attendance. You want to make sure you're in class. Um, late is 50, even if it's just like the next morning. Now, if we have a week where there's no discussion forum, that means that the work due on Sunday will count as your attendance checkpoint for the week. So let's say there's two assignments due on Sunday. If you submit both, 100% attendance. If you only submit one, you get 50% attendance. So just make sure that you are turning in everything on time and, and pay attention to those due dates. Uh, the rest of this is talking about withdrawal information and how to go about that. Any 16-week course you have until April 15th, um, let's say your work schedule changes, life happens, you, you can no longer attend online or physical classes, you have until April 15th to, to withdraw. If you're a College Credit Plus student, there's um, different links and information for you right there as well. All right, so the course calendar... Sorry about that gap there. Um, here is the breakdown of what we're doing every week. You can see that anytime there is a discussion forum, I have in red right after it, hey, post by Wednesday. And then I have the assignments that are just normally due by Sunday right there. So you can see the very first multiple weeks, first five weeks you have a discussion board. You'll see in week six is the first week where we don't have a discussion forum. And that's when you're going to have to complete those assignments by Sunday for your weekly attendance. All right, so remember that every discussion forum also needs two responses to classmates. And I'll talk about that inside the very first time you have to do that. 
All right, so again, I would just recommend like printing this out or just making sure you have a copy of this really easily accessible. While I'm talking about, and this is again a breakdown, while I'm talking about the calendar back over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump up to where it says course calendar because right inside here, this is where you can access just what we're doing in class electronically. So you have the hard, I wanna say hard copy, it's electronic or hard copy if you print it out, but then it's also, Sorry, my watch is talking. Then you can also access it right here in the course calendar. So that's nice and helpful because it can send you reminders. You can go in and just check real quickly. All right, so that is your syllabus. Other things in the start here section, if you look, there is the course textbook and I'll get to that in just a minute, but there's just other resources down here basically. And like I said, you're eventually going to get to the point where you're not needing these quite as much. You know, there is an expectations section and this goes through again, like just what to expect in terms of posting and grading. I'm usually a quick grader um, and I have a contact and all of that. Let's go ahead and scroll back up to the textbook link. Here is your textbook. Now this is also individually linked inside your weekly folder. So you won't have to come here every time, but it's nice intro. So I actually don't mind this book. Some online books I'm not a fan of, but this one I um, I think it's really easy to navigate. Uh, you can search up here inside the each of a week. It'll link you right to the direct chapter, but here's a table of contents. You know, you can have it open or closed and you can scroll through and you know can kind of take a look and see what's going on. You can click to specific sections or you can just like go down through each page and then click next. So it's really easy to navigate. I really like this. Um, you can also do some highlighting over here. Um, normally you might have to sign in uh, to be able to save the highlights, but you can go ahead and add notes and, and print those highlights out as well if you like to do that. One of the things, and I'll say this in my weekly lecture videos, is that everyone in here might be in different places, meaning some of you are CCP, your current high school students. Some of you just graduated high school last year. Some of you have been out for a few years. Some of you have been in the workforce and now you're changing career fields. The point is we're all in different places. And so some of this stuff will apply to some of you more than others. And I really just encourage you to, to hone in on those sections that are most applicable, the things that you need to hear or read about the most, the things that you need more support in. Because maybe you are great at managing your time, but you need a little bit of help with prioritizing, you know, so that kind of thing. So you want to pay attention to what you need. So that is the textbook. And that is the gist of the start here section. Again, just a lot of resources. Under the lessons area, this is where you're going to spend a lot of your time. Computer Bear Basics, as soon as the spring schedule is uploaded, I will put that in there. But this is for anyone who struggles literally with someone who's never turned on a computer all the way to maybe you just need help with a spreadsheet or PowerPoint. Uh, we do have someone at the campus to help with that. And as I said, as soon as that spring schedule is updated, I will put that flyer back in here. You'll be able to see it. Down a little bit further, here is a discussion forum called Muddy Point. And I'm going to show you how to post in a discussion forum because you're going to have to eventually. But in here is where you're going to post your questions. So let's say this is kind of mimics if you're sitting in a classroom and you're asking a question that anyone in the class can answer. So I might answer it or a classmate might answer it. So for that reason, if it's an individual question about a grade or a very specific question about your assignment, I prefer you to course message me or you know email me. But if this is something you're just like, hey, I just need input, you can post here. So to post in any discussion forum, you come over here to create thread. And in a weekly form, it's going to always repopulate the prompt right here so you don't have to do any clicking back and forth. You type your subject, you type your message, and then you just hit submit. And then when you go to respond to classmates like you have to in each weekly discussion forum, you just simply click on the thread and then hit reply and then post your response and hit submit. All right, so that's a discussion form. It's, it's rather easy. And I will show you again in the week one and week two and so on lecture videos uh, and assignment videos so you know how to do that. Underneath the muddy point there again is our textbook so you can access it again. Underneath this, this is a workshop video. It's hidden right now because the spring schedule is not updated yet. As soon as the spring schedule is updated, I will recreate this video. But I just like to plant this in everyone's head that before the end of spring semester, everyone in this class has to attend a workshop. And there's a whole calendar of workshops that you can attend. And I'm going to have a video dedicated just to that. 
And when I say workshop, it can be face-to-face -face or it can be online. So it's really flexible and they have mornings, afternoons, and evening options. Um, so that's a required you know, assignment you have until the end of the semester. So you have about 15 weeks, you know, from here until the end, about 15 weeks. Um, so as soon as the, the updated schedule is out, I will post that so you know exactly how to get, you know, registered and attend that workshop. And this is the actual place where you will eventually submit it, which I will include that in my video. All right. So from here, you're going to see that a lot of these are set up very similarly. So I'm going to go ahead and just click in the week one videos. And this is where you're going to see there's my lecture. So the week one lecture is very quick because we haven't we don't start into a chapter quite yet. And then there's the assignment video right underneath it. So this is, you know, hey, this is what you're doing this week. Make sure that I do this because sometimes students, they might need a little bit more audio and visual support with an online class since you're not right there in front of a teacher. So I always recommend spending some time in the videos. I always have the lecture first and then the assignment video right underneath it. Whenever you have watched those videos, the folders, and again, these are all set up very similarly, will always have like, hey, this is what we're doing this week. Here's what you're working on this week. The materials folder is just what it sounds like. The information you need to be able to complete the assignments for the week and then the assignment folder is the actual work and I will go over all of this right here in the assignment video so that you know what you're doing for week one so let me go ahead and kind of show you again this is how they are all set up throughout the entire semester they're all scheduled to open up every week all right, other things over here, again, the course messages, the announcements, course calendar, my grades, this is where you can access your grades at any point in the semester, so you can make sure that you are kind of on track. And then over here are just general resources. If you need digital library, if you need just general student resources, um, Blackboard help, so that's where you can go for that information. All right, I hope this was helpful. Um, Please reach out if you need anything as we get started and have a great start to the spring 24 semester.